Hello, travelers. We're here in the Cerny basement, Sands, uh, either Cerny's. I think we broke in. I'm not sure. Uh, but we're here for another vlog episode. Uh, I'm filling in. I'm filling the role of Landon today with the deeper baritone. We've got Robin on the 90s pop singer microphone. <laughs> and we also have Andy. Hi, guys. Good hey to guys. be back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we got four different beers we're going to try tonight from all over the place. Uh, I'm going to let Andy take it, uh, yeah. take it off. I can take it away. Um, so the first one we have is actually something that Robin and I picked up from New Glarus. They have this R&D series that they do. Um, we were down there camping the other week and went to the tap room, and this was a tap room exclusive. I'm like, oh, rare beer that I can't get anywhere else? Yes, please. Yep. So this is an old... It's labeled as an old Viking recipe um, with foraged juniper berries and Scandinavian barley. And it's supposed to be very smoky, roasty, and dark. So we'll see how this pans out here. How do you pronounce that again? Gotlandic. 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 Yeah. Episode Sounds... of beers we can't pronounce. Correct. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. I was going to say port for me because I have to hold my mic. <laughs> <laughs> Could you That's do like a Paula so Abdul needy. song in between um, pours? I think that would be best for everyone if I didn't. You, and Selena? I don't know. Selena. Yeah. Actually, Jake, you're probably going to want this in your big glass because I feel like this is going to be your favorite <laughs> beer of the episode. Oh, yeah. Without a doubt. <laughs> Smoky, dark. So I like it. <laughs> That's how we all like it here at Taproom yeah. Travelers. <laughs> all right. So. I don't get too much smoke on the nose. Mm -hmm. mm, it definitely comes through, though, when you you taste it. Definitely a roasty finish. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's not, like, overly powering, like, smoky. No. Which sometimes it's just, like, I have a smoky beer, and I'm just like, this is bacon, or this is smoked meat. But this is really, it's subtle, and it's yeah. nice. I don't get too much of juniper on there, either. No, I don't get any juniper, really. Not at all, so. But... Delicious, it's nonetheless. Very good, yeah. Pretty well balanced. Solid amber backbone, I would say, but yeah, definitely the smoke comes through on that. So, kudos to Noglaris. I it's hope you guys... Yeah, it's nice to see them do... Uh, it's a little outside the box for them. You know, mm -hmm. I've, I've had a lot of Noglaris, but you don't you don't generally get the, the smoked, uh, dark, roasty... Right. They're most well known for the Spotted Cow, and right. every now and then they have like the Fruit Beer series and the... Your serendipities, your um, Belgian cherries, your everything else, but yep. yeah, I Staghorn is also one of the best, mm -hmm. better Oktoberfests that we get in this area as well. But yeah, this is really good. This is good. Swung by, grab one. Where well done, gone? New Glarus. They might be gone. This was a couple of months old um, when we were there. Oh, so, but yeah, um, definitely stop in New Glarus if you see anything in this style of bottle. Um, that's off of their R and D series. So, and they only sell that at the brewery. Only sell it at the okay. brewery. Uh, you're limited to four of any of them at the brewery. At where least. You, where did you guys go camping? Down in um, New Glarus Woods. How was so, it? It was really fun. It was actually. awesome. It was like the brewery was like right across the road. Like you took a you little, can walk yeah. there if you like camping and you like beer. It was like jackpot. Yeah. Okay. Definitely recommend it if you're ever looking for a good place to camp. I think the. <clears throat> excuse me the non-powered campsite that we got was what like 20 bucks yeah so good to know mm -hmm. on to the next one on to the next one so what we got here a handoff here Ooh. so this is strange roots i signed up for this app called it's either pronounced tavor or tavour there's a bit of an internal debate on that so That'll probably be the title of this episode. You is say how the hell? I say Tavar. Exactly. How the hell do you pronounce potato. this app? <laughs> so comment below if you know for sure, or just I don't know. Start a flame war. Let's make this fun. <laughs> Let's devour some Tavar. Exactly. Hmm? Tap Devour. That's See, kind that's of where I thought Devour. Yeah. Right. Devour. Yeah. Or it sounds French. So comment devour. below the table about how wrong we are in our pronunciation. Exactly <laughs> Someone help us. Hand me your glass. Mm -hmm. So this is called Havikin. Havik. Javi can something again. We're Close, gonna mangle yeah. this is the, all of these. This is the episode where we butcher <laughs> pronunciations. Um, but it is an aged ale on Lee's bottles, bottled with Brett Matisse. Mm. So probably a little bit sour on this one too. But it's gonna be more of like a dark beer backbone. Hmm, I get like a little bit of. It's like a sour porter. I mm -hmm. love the smell. A little bit. Mm. 
Not a huge sour fan, but I think I can dig this a little yeah. bit. It's mellow for a sour too. Like normally yeah. you kind of get like the astringent not, bite, but this is not very overpowering. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's definitely sour, but then it finishes very, very smoothly. I don't know how to describe this. This is just very a very drinkable. unique. <laughs> no, it's just a very unique flavor. I haven't had anything like it. Right. <laughs> and I don't know what a lot of those ingredients are. Do either of you? Brett Matices is a... Sounds like an 80s rocker. <laughs> it is a bacteria strain that you use to sour things. So uh, oh, yeah. I fungi? think it's like a... It fungi? Maybe. I don't know. I just know like yogurt cultures, it's a similar family to like what you would find in like anything that's labeled live and active cultures. Ah. This bottle um, is The more you know awesome. with Andy. Yeah. Science, bitch. <laughs> yeah. Nailed it. <laughs> Just throwing a Breaking Bad reference here. Come on. I like it. We'll have fun. Okay. Are All we right. going to check out the Cold Fire? Yes. That one I'm excited for. So From this Oregon. One... Oregon. Another one. I <laughs> <laughs> believe it is Oregon. I Oregon. Think we only... I, I lived in a town called Oregon, Wisconsin. Oh, okay. Just south of Madison for a while. I've only ever heard people pronounce it. Whoop. Uh, well, coming in hot. A little lively on that one. Got I've it. only ever heard it pronounced Oregon from people Thanks, who are Alex. from Wisconsin, and I think it's because we call it Wisconsin. Yes, hand it to me. Whereas everybody, <laughs> everybody outside Here of the state clean. calls it or pronounces it somewhat differently. Um, but yeah, Oregon beer. Who so it, cleaned it? I don't know. A state. I didn't it. Oh, Andy. Thanks, Andy. Yeah. What would you guys do without me? Oh. Uh, well, Hold on to that. Oh, sorry. What are you gonna? You gotta catch up. Drink up. <laughs> you gotta be a professional here, Robin. <laughs> what have we got going on here, Andy? Uh, so this is another sour beer with um, apricot, I believe. Ooh. It is. Um, Cellar Muse. Cellar Muse. This yes. is probably gonna be the only one we can pronounce, huh? <laughs> probably. That was a terrible Very pour. light. Mm. Apricot's not too strong, but you can no. definitely taste it. Mm -hmm. But it's not like a fruity sweetness no. or anything like that. Not overly. Mm -mm. Mm. It's more of like a... Very drinkable. A good summer mm -hmm. beer. It's more dry than I would say sweet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Yep. Very good. So I believe this is a Cezanne base, which you kind of get mm -hmm. a little bit of that in there, but I think the apricots help overpower some of that saison yeast flavor that you normally get from those farmhouse um, ale right yeah which basically means yeah we had a bunch of grains left over from all of our other beers so let's right. make a grab bag beer <laughs> no but this is good apricot can sometimes be overwhelming but that's good i think they did a great job very much so winning so far and now we have our wild card coming up here <laughs> How would you pronounce that? <laughs> um, that looks like something inappropriate, so I'm not going to say it out loud. Yep. Conanglingen. Look at the close-up that we're about to slice in right now, or if we haven't already, and you tell us how to pronounce that. Conanglingen. Yes. Conanglingen? Conan Conanglingus. Conanglingus, there it is. Conanglingus? Yep. All right. And it's got a bird on got it, because that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Birds and the beast. Birds and the beast. There, birds and the beast. Thank you, Alex. Alex. Thank you, Birds and hot. Off camera. Yep. <laughs> Comment below if you think Alex should be in front of the camera one of these episodes, because I think so. I do, too. I'm sorry, I'm just... <laughs> do you even drink, behind. Robin? Come on. Do you? Yeah, I remember my first beer. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. All right, so... Oral beer. Very fruity on the nose. Did you just call it an oral? An oral beer. beer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> God. We've already made that joke once before. I'm I'm staring into the skit at this point. I was like, um, is that a beer term? Nope. So yeah, it's labeled episode. as a dry hopped sour beer. Yeah. Um, I don't get too too much hop on it. Though. Not not a ton of hop. Mm -mm. More of like a uh, Belgian golden ale with like a sour bite to it but it's not Still, overly it's, sour either yeah it's 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 dry like the last one not quite mm -hmm. as dry as the last one but not overly sour either yeah you're right yeah it's got kind of like a woody smell to it too 
Like I feel mm-hmm. like I'm in the middle of a forest. Mm-hmm. Okay, so but not overly piney, but Mm-mm. just like I'm in the woods, right? Recording like Bony Bear tracks or something. <laughs> Shout out to Justin Vernon. <laughs> yeah, my guy. <laughs> so this was named after a German legend. Oh, okay. So we're just ignorant Americans that can't pronounce German, I guess. And people who well, don't read the labels. Yep. Which I think we've established on multiple episodes that none of us actually read the labels of these beers before mm-hmm. we actually get on camera and drink these. So it's a good way to do these episodes. From yeah, South right. <laughs> Zero preparation. Uh huh. Hundred percent winging it. Just a bunch of jackasses. Yep. We're good at that. Mm hmm. Or maybe we're not, but we're doing but it yeah. regardless. Anybody have a favorite of these four? I think uh, New Glarus. Yeah, <laughs> New Glarus is in my wheelhouse for sure, mm-hmm. with the uh, the smoke and the the roasted and all that. But oh, actually, the three I, sours though. Yeah, I, I think I actually mm-hmm. like the uh, Cellar Muse the best. I would agree. I like the mm-hmm. apricot. I like this one. I like the oral one. <laughs> <laughs> or the bird one. The bird. Well, one. The bird two one. Bird ones. The, the oral bird. The, uh, the cunning bird. The cunning the bird. Cunning bird. Yes, yes. <laughs> it, is, it is a cunning bird. Well, that, yeah. At eight percent. Mm-hmm. Bird is the word. I like it. Yeah. Yeah, eight percent too. That. Ooh. That's very surprising that it's that strong. I would not guess that. Yeah, it'll get you if you drink too much of that. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. That's dangerous. So overall, uh, four beers that. Most of them we couldn't pronounce, but right, uh, we agree they're all pretty decent. Mm-hmm. Um, so just a reminder for you guys, we do have a bus trip coming up on September 8th. We are heading to St. Paul, and there are still some limited tickets available. Uh, you can check out our link below. Go to our website, taproomtravelers.com. You can check us out on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Untap, Twitter, all of that jazz. Sign up for that. It's a good time. All the links will be underneath the table in the description below. Um, Like, comment, subscribe, do all the YouTube things. Under the table. Under the table. (laughs) Yeah. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Salud. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you like what you saw, you can click down below where there's some more episodes for you to watch. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on episodes that you do watch. We hope to see you next time.